all. My name is Nana Mellon, and you're look at me, looking at me here, putting Jeanette down on the floor. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm good. I'm the foster mom for Jeanette and Mindy and Yandis. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. It's a Swedish name. I don't talk Swedish. But it's spelled J-A-N-D-E-R-S. So I don't know how to say the J. So I'm just... Mindy says it's Yandis. Uh, but I heard it pronounced Jandis and Yandis. And I don't know. Maybe it's Yandis. I'm going with Yandis. He said he don't care. He's a real sweet kid. Oh, I'm so tired. So, he's just wanted his bedtime story. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to fall over. Oh. Well, he's going to go to sleep soon. I think he's in the wrong bed. I don't know. Is it morning? It looks like it's morning. Have I been up all night again? Oh, my God. i got to go to work in like 10 minutes. Yeah, here we go. I'm calling for the babysitter. I, I guess I forgot to sleep again. Oh, well, I'll have some coffee at work. I'm a teacher. I teach grade 5 English at the local school. I always want to be a teacher because I know I talk so good, you know. I wanted to make sure the kids could talk as good as me. So I became an English teacher. I sure hope they talk as good as me. I'm trying. I'm trying. It ain't always easy teaching a bunch of 10-year-olds. Oh, goodness. So the kids, they all, we all go to the same school, but I got to be there a little earlier, so I can't usually give them a ride to school. Slightly different hours. Jeez, they didn't make their beds again. I really got to get on them. Did I tell you they ain't really my kids? I'm their foster mom. I'm a wid widow. <coughs> Excuse me. I am a widow. My dear husband, Walter, spontaneously combusted in the recliner several years ago before we could have children. So I am on my own, and I thought I'd be a foster mom. This is our little house that we're renting out in the tropical temperate zone or whatever, right on the beach. I feel very lucky that I was able to rent this little place in such an exotic locale, as it were. We was living uh, up near Chicago, and it ain't warm there for sure. So uh, we got uh, a grant to uh, move here. Ain't it beautiful? Can't wait to go swimming. We just got here not too long ago. So here's Miss Jeanette. Uh, they're all my foster kids. Uh, isn't that a cute hamper? My God, we was at the thrift store. And there was this set, you know, um, the hamper. No, that ain't a hamper. Excuse me. That's the toy box. We did. They couldn't. Um, I was looking for a hamper. They didn't have a matching hamper. But the, this was a set for real cheap. Just the one, the toy box with the crib. And almost matching it is uh, that desk and um, bookcase you'll see. It's all wicker, colored wicker. I thought, oh my God, this is so different. I gotta have it. Yes, yeah, see there, that's the bookcase on the right there. It was real cheap. The price was right. I don't make much as a teacher, and I gotta take care of these three kids. And yes, I do get a stipend. But also, I mean, it ain't much, you know? I mean, it's the government, you know? <laughs> Need I say more? No. So, uh, Jeanette's playing with her little doll, and I'm home from work, and, uh, <clears throat> uh I think Jan just wants a bedtime story. Uh, he didn't sleep much, and, uh, so, uh, 
Yeah, I think Candace wants a bedtime story. Mindy, you know, I don't know if you know about her, but she already graduated from college. But I got to send her to a grammar school for socialization. But uh, she's working on a, her PhD thesis now. <laughs> she's sitting at the computer doing that. Oh my God, the kid's nine years old. Oh my God. <laughs> What can I say? I ask her for advice for a lot of things. I'll tell you that. Not with the love life so much, but uh, oh my God, I was getting sick. I'm real neat, and uh, I think the bathroom needs to be cleaned or something. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yandis wants a bedtime story, but I don't know why he's getting in Mindy's bed. I ain't thrilled with the boy and the girl sharing their bedroom, but they're still young enough, so it ain't too much of a problem, I hope. Uh, you know, once they, they're teenagers, uh, we're going to swap around. I'm going to put the girls together, and, and uh, Yandis can have his own room, if he's still with us. Maybe he'll find a family before then. Of course, he's certainly welcome. You know, I'm in it for the long haul. I'll kick him out after college. <laughs> and little Miss Jeanette. Oh my goodness, can you say cute? Poor little thing. She was so tiny when her parents died. So sad. So sad. Here you go, honey. Have your, have your bottle. It's actually a green colored bottle with milk in it. I ain't giving her nothing. No, I ain't giving a Gatorade or nothing. I mean, I could. And there ain't nothing wrong with Gatorade. But, uh, yeah, it's actually like one of them um, bags inside of the bottle. And the bottle itself is um, green. And the bag inside is white. And you fill the bag. It's a disposable liner, you know. So I was just cheering up Miss Mindy. Maybe my little funny faces are too sophisticated for Miss Smarty Pants. But I try. It's a little intimidating raising a genius. I mean, her IQ is like, I don't know, she's 180 or something. And, you know, average IQ is 100. Hoy, 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 hoy. But uh, she's a sweet girl. She's got a, a kind heart. Uh, she loves the black. Her hair, that's actually her natural color, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, I wonder what her parents look like. Did they have pink and green hair, too? Anyway, she always likes to wear black, so I had to wean her into that shirt with a little bit of rainbow on it, just so she's not totally wearing black. But it does look good against the real colorful hair, I gotta say. So I'm just relaxing in this kind of makeshift um, rec room. Uh, the landlord says he's going to convert it to more of like a living space for us eventually. You know how that goes. He says he's going to finish the walls and the floor and put a sliding door in. So that would be great. Because it's kind of buggy right now. It's just an open archway and... I'm looking for mosquito netting because it's real buggy around here. I ain't had no luck yet, but uh, he says he's going to put the sliding door in real soon. So, you know, the floor ain't finished or nothing, but there ain't no real living room. So it was a carport, but we kicked out the car, <laughs> as you can see. My favorite yellow car. I love yellow. It's my favorite, favorite color. Yes, Miss Mindy, how may I help you? Oh, she wants to have a book read to her. Well, that's cute. I'm sure she could do it herself, considering. <laughs> but I'm flattered. Well, I got a few things I got to do first before I can read her to sleep. You know, it's socialization. That's what it is. Even if she can read the books herself, she needs the socialization. 
So do you like the playground? I think that was real nice. Uh, I got help with that. With the That was part of my stipend. I actually requested extra funds for toys for the kids. And so they were real nice about it. So I'm picking out. Am I going to pick out a book? Oh, Jeanette needs some attention first. I think I'm going to put it in with Mindy. So she's not alone. And uh, Mindy needs to learn a little bit about, you know, supervising the little ones. I think she's going to do some babysitting when she's a little older. So I thought I would sort of get her used to staying with Jeanette, to watch Jeanette. Here you go. You watch Jeanette for a little minute. I got some stuff I gotta do first. I'm starving. I gotta have some dinner. I'm exhausted for a change. So you watch Jeanette. Thank you. Yeah, they gotta sink in there. I don't know what for. I guess if you do some painting or something. I guess it could make like an art studio, couldn't it? That's an idea. I don't do no painting, but maybe a playroom for the kids or something. I don't know. We really need a proper living room. We ain't got one. See, we got the slider on the kitchen. But then there's this open area where normal houses got a living room. So it's very open air. And I like it, except uh, it rains here more than I thought it would. So you can't use it, obviously, on rainy days. That's why the landlord helped us uh, fix up the carport, make that into a, a place to watch TV anyway. But you got to spray yourself with mosquito repellent when you go in there to watch TV. So everything's an adjustment. Making myself some spaghetti. Geez, I should have thrown out that orange juice before I started. Boy, it stinks. I got the smell of the spaghetti battling the smell of the sour orange juice. Mmm. Hmm. Oh, Miss Mindy's left Jeanette. I hope everything's all right. I don't like to leave Jeanette alone for too long. <clears throat> I mean, she's just so little. I guess I better scarf down my spaghetti and get back there. Where is Mindy? Where'd you go? Hi. It looks good. It did good. All right. I'll leave a little out in case one of them two wants more. Checking on Jeanette. I think I better put her to bed. Oh, I think I need a change of diaper. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, that little coffee table there, also Wicca. They had a lot of cute Wicca things that day. I really lucked out at the thrift store. All right, good night, Miss Jeanette. Good night, sweetie. And let me see, what am I doing here? I think I'll check on them and slip into their little bathroom. These are such unusual bathrooms. I think they're supposed to go on boats. But for some reason, the landlord loves them and put them in the house. Which is fine. It's a little cramped, but we're small. I'm the biggest one that doesn't bother me too much. That is very convenient, because see, I got one of my very own right there. 
and I got the Murphy bed. So everything is very compact around here. I don't really like the Murphy bed, but I'm just a renter. It was nice of him to fix the kitchen up for me. And he didn't even raise the rent, so I appreciate that. Now that blue box is a teleportation booth, believe it or not. I don't think it works. <laughs> I think it was something the landlord the, or the owner was invented or something. I don't know. <coughs> Mindy always wearing black. Now that's the new babysitter. I ain't learned her name yet. I think it's Marika, something similar to that. Um, with the blue hair. So we got Mindy with pink and this girl's got blue, but I bet she dyed hers blue. But Mindy's is real, like I said. All right, so this is their adorable school where I also work, and we are waiting for the day to end. <laughs> Do you remember running home from school every day? Oh, boy. Remember Friday afternoons when school was let out? Oh, I used to just love Friday afternoons. Ah, oh, especially if my mom was picking me up at school. I didn't have to run to catch the bus. Oh, it was just a wonderful feeling. Zoom, everybody's running to the bus. Let's start the weekend. <laughs> Except I think it's actually a Wednesday here. <laughs> so it's go home and do your homework and eat and sleep. Not enough hours in the day, and the weekends are especially short. Now, Mindy had to go do some kind of research for her degree, I think, for her, uh, her doctorate. It's so funny to see a little kid riding around on a bike off to do research for her, her, for her PhD. <laughs> oh my god. I can't quite wrap my, my head around this genius kid I'm taking care of. Ah, oh, here they are. I don't see him doing much with Jeanette, so that's good to see. Mindy's real fond of her. That's nice. A little moment. Yanders and Jeanette. I gotta pick up that toy behind Jeanette. Now see, there's the bookcase. It's wicker. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. What a find. Aw, these are good kids. This is my first three I ever been taking care of. I'm new to this. So I hope I'm doing all right. They, I have to go have a, like a review every six months and I'll make sure I'm, you know, up to snuff. And do I have questions and all. I mean, there's always support and all. I have someone I check in with on every weekend. Look at that. Yanders all on his own, taking out the trash. That is his job. Everybody's got their jobs, and his is mostly clean up. So he's, he's the trash man. And he does a real good job. You gotta get a trash can in the kitchen. Yeah, so now he's gonna take it out to the big can. And then he better get to bed. I hope he did his, did his homework. They really are good kids. Wait 
Look at him cleaning up the dirty dishes. He's going to make somebody a real nice little husband. <laughs> Wendy's doing her homework, slaving away. Go, oh, good girl. Can't be that hard for her, though. I mean, it's fourth grade. <laughs> Fifth grade. No, fourth grade. And he loves his rocking horse. Hop into the bathroom. And good night, Mindy Peppermint, in your black PJs. <laughs> Yonder's turn. And good night to you, Yonder's. Sometimes I say yonder, sometimes I say yanders. I don't know. And good night from me too, Nana Mellon. Good night. <laughs>